Christ is here. The following contest is a triple threat. Extreme Rules Match! And is for the World Heavyweight and the WWE Championships! Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, Brock Lesnar! It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since his first WrestleMania, where he won the WWE title from Kurt Angle. Since then, he's had many main event encounters against the likes of Triple H and Roman Reigns, even ended the Undertaker streak. But this man has a WrestleMania chip on his shoulder after losing the championship unification match against Roman Reigns at the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. One of the biggest names in WWE, the Viper. And introducing the champion from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Randy Orton. The Viper's resume is just growing by the day, capturing titles and main events at an incredible rate. He's held the Intercontinental title, the tag team titles, and he's held the WWE Championship on multiple occasions. Formerly a legend killer, he is quickly approaching legend status as we speak. Methodical, dangerous, Randy Orton has earned his spot at the top of WWE. He has beaten nearly every big name, slain nearly every legend. You gotta wonder, what's next for the Viper? Championship, Saxton, and plenty of them. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Cena kickstarted the ruthless aggression era and has defined WWE ever since. And introducing the champion from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. Without a doubt, one of the greatest competitors in WrestleMania history. There's a reason he earned the name Big Match John. Second competitor to ever reach double-digit wins at the Showcase of the Immortals. In fact, many would say one of the biggest wins in Cena's WrestleMania career is when he defeated The Rock at WrestleMania 29 for the WWE Championship. His name is John Cena, a 16-time world champion. The winner here joins rare company of double champions. So extreme rules are now in effect in this one. Anything goes from here on out. That's right, Cole. If these superstars can dream it, they are absolutely free to do it. There's nothing.
nothing standing in the way of their most ambitious and sadistic imaginings. These two showing how well scouted they each are. A release belly to belly. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. And he sends him into the corner. Draped upside down in a tree of woe. Over and over again. Repeated knees in the corner. Counters that. A blow to the back of the neck. Outside the ring now. He has no need to rush. Oh, man. He got the tendo Things to end this early. Orton gets the better there. Lupez press. Raining down right hands. Classic Orton. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Splat! Heads out of the ring. What's next? All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Positioning it on the ring apron now. With the ladder right there, I'll tell you, bad things can happen. And did you hear the impact of that? Great wherewithal on the counter. Well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Close fist connects. into the barricade. Rapid fire right hands. Looking to set him up for something. Counter. And now there's an opening. Oh my goodness. This is not going to end well by any means. Your teeth after that. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Orton playing mind games with the enemy. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Okay, he's re entering the ring. And some effective offense with that one. Looking wildly in the corner. And well, this could be it. Cover. And he stops the count. Lucky him. Look at. Uh oh! Precarious 
position here. Electric chair and a face buster. The champ looking out of sorts. In order to succeed in an extreme rules match, you have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. Keep coming. Fighting 
the beast back. Ooh, connects to the back of the neck. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. He's able to sidestep there. Ooh. This place is going insane. The ground beneath my feet is shaking. Single arm underhook. Knee right to the gut. He is truly feeling it right now. As well he should. And he tosses it back in now. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Lesnar with a waist lock. I think we're about to take a trip, gentlemen. This is where Brock Lesnar is at home. Ooh. And just like that, Brock's changing the entire complexion of the match and rocking Orton to his very core. Sustained attacks up in that area could cause impaired vision. Scary patterns starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Just 
kicked into the table. He's doing some dick. They're setting the table on fire. Oh, my God. Go behind. He climbs into the ring. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. He's looking to take this fight to a whole new level. Lesnar cuts him off. Oh, look at this. A release belly to belly. And his core has been taking a beating. And you have to wonder if that's affecting his breathing. Oh, through the table. That was too much. Dangerous ideas and bad intentions becoming reality. There's no room for hesitation when you're dealing with flaming furniture. Tough as this going to be caught in here. and get after it. Here are the highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your world heavy and the WWE champion, Randy Orton. Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. This is the kind of action you get when you put three hungry competitors in a match against one another, forcing them to battle for supremacy.